philosopher with that part coming at you. Not this part, but that part. Yo, I want to get at y'all, man, real quick. Damn, bro. Y'all seen this shit going on, and niggas knew this shit was bound to happen between, you know what I mean, Hassan Campbell and, and Zip with the drip, man. Oh, man. Oh, let me get some of this goddamn water, man. Fucking out this bitch. Got to gotta stay hydrated out this bitch. Got them running around this bitch, working out after work, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's been raining, but it's been hot, nigga. Especially running around all this motherfucker, working out, jogging. You know what I mean? I'm about to put a puller bar about this motherfucker. But anyways, man, like I said, man, man, them people, man, shouts out to Behind the Bar, man. Man, BDB, man. That nigga, let me tell you, man, good, man. Good content, man. Man, niggas in Behind the Chain Gang, hit me up, man. You know what I mean? I introduce, if y'all don't know, man, listen, I'm going to say it like this, B. Mm. You hear that noise, man? That's a, that's a headshot, nigga. Checkmate. When you on the slab in prison, nigga, you hear a lot of niggas say, boom, you know what I mean? Go blocker. Uh, you know what I mean? Me and checkmate, nigga. Especially when you going at it, nigga. Like up north, they call them behind like a key lock block. You know what I mean? This is the slab behind 23 and 1, nigga. When you behind the door, all you know. So when you hear that, that nigga, nigga done checkmate it, done don't check your ass, nigga. That switch done hit you up close. <laughs> Anyways, man. But, man, Zip with the Drip and Hassan Campbell, man, everybody knew this was going to happen. I fuck with both parties, man, without a, without a doubt, man. No doubt about it, my nigga. And um, I want to try to be the judge of it, man. Who, who, who you think is right in this one, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because people behind the G-Walls and the chain gang, I introduced them to the dirty section of YouTube, or I introduced them to the streets of YouTube, man, the digital Hollywood. In FDOC in Florida, I introduced them to the Hassan Zips behind the bars. Yes, I got a lot of niggas, you know, behind prison. Chico, they know Chico Black, you know, put them on to that. It lots of put them on to that. So when a lot of flaw shit go to happening or some off the wall weird shit happen, them niggas always hit me up because you know they got tablets, nigga. They on hot spots on that bitch. They be they be tapped in, nigga. They be tapped in on YouTube. They got man, man. Everything is hijacked on them tablets, nigga. Everybody know that, nigga. Ten ninety Jake done already done. You already know what time it is. Anyways, man. So when something fucked up happens, I addressed it because them niggas hit me up like, damn, this nigga on some crazy shit. This nigga rat. Oh, this nigga a dragon, nigga. This nigga a cracker, but how he doing it? I gotta hear that, nigga. Them nigga be hitting me up all the time, my nigga. Facts. That's why a lot of time. I'm going to dress it. That way want me to dress it, nigga. Because if I don't, nigga, it's going to make me look crazy, bro. Going to be like, bro, this is who you fuck with? That's why certain YouTubers, they fell back off of, man. And I even fell back off because it was some weird shit going on. But anywho, man. Hey, man, I fuck with both parties. But, but y'all just tell me what y'all think, man. Watch the videos and watch this compilation that I got for y'all niggas, man. I got more t content coming in. And I told y'all, man, tonight, man. Oh, man, game five, man. I said Denver in six, but damn, man. Let's see if Jimmy Butler can pull through for the FLA, man. Man, pull down for them niggas down in the crib in Miami. Word, man. But watch this video. But watch. I got daughters. And this video right here is for the fathers with daughters. You know, like that nine song, to my fathers with daughters, first and foremost, right? The only females that would date your old ass is females that got daddy issues, that ain't got no father, that got broken homes. So let me ask you a question. Who do you think gonna let you walk around at 40 something years old with their 20 year old daughter? Because this is what my beef is about. All the other nonsense you're talking about, who do you think a dude like me? You think that you will walk around with my 20 year old daughter? Any dude that I know that's a real father, that get busy, they not gonna let you walk around with their daughter at 20 years old and you 40 and it's not happening. So you the type of dude that'll get with them young girls and it, it cause them to have a fallout with their fathers, with their family. Because once little girls start smashing niggas like you, they break up with they, they start beefing with their mother. They can't bring you home. Because her mother gonna wanna know why is an old dude like you laying on top of their baby. 
Damn. Yeah, this is what this is about. You dudes that's watching me out there, are you feeling me? Are you all the followers out there feeling me? All that slick talk, I don't even watch it. Your, your three hour video. I don't care about anything and everything you have to say. What I care about is, is you're disgusting. Damn. What mother or father Damn. is going to let you walk through their door? It's the philosopher. Talking about you sleeping with their daughter and you 40 something years old and they 20. You told the young boys, don't call you big homie because chances are I'm going to be smashing the same females as you. You turned my stomach when you said that, and I didn't mention your name. But being that you say in my name, I'm gonna say it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this clear. I'm not going back and forth with you. <laughs> All the slick talking that you talk, nigga. Before I took my videos down, I had over a billion views. <laughs> Got some of the hottest interviews on academics platform. Matt Hoffa platforms, all the Tasha K's platforms, all of the big platforms that, that, that all the heavy hitters. You ain't on nobody's platform. You ain't on nobody's A-lister. If my channel fell off ten times, I'd still be bigger than you. Damn. Wanna live your life? Why would I want to live your life? Why would I want to be living in somebody's couch or somebody? Why would I why would I want to? Why? Man, we're not even going into that. We're not going to go left. We're going to stick to the topics. Bottom line to it is, most fathers, real fathers. Most uncles, real uncles. Hate dudes like you. Most fathers, most uncles, hate dudes like you. You could not come to the family barbecues. But that's why you said you like to go barbecues. I bet you don't want to go to the barbecues. Because you wanted a nigga that's a real father. That's a real uncle. That's a real uncle. You wanted them dudes that you're not hanging out with dudes your age. You trying to be around them young boys and use their energy. Uh. <laughs> Not on my watch. Any man with daughters who love their daughters, what you is, we gonna break this down to the nitty gritty, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna sit up there and talk about the fact that you have beef with Blue Boy. I have beef with Pistol Pete. <laughs> Blue Boy made you put, made, the Blue Boy put a, a knife on a cell and told you, I dare you to come out that cell. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. You ever heard that song? Ooh. I never heard of that. Let's but... get it on. You didn't get it on. I'm not taking that route. Kill. Never Fuck heard of that. Man. Fuck all the, talk, the, the tough talk. We ain't going that route. We grown men. We grown men. I can rip you to shreds off of your character. Grown ass man in his 40s trying to live his second, your, your second childhood. Because you went to jail. And did 18 years in jail. You think that you could just come home, right? And start sleeping with the teeny boppers? Not on my watch. I got daughters. And this video right here is for the fathers with daughters. You know, like that nice song to my fathers with daughters. First and foremost, we talking about character. We talking about character. It's the philosopher. That part. Hope y'all brothers can squash this. Fuck with both parties. Yo, you know, I said I'm yo, 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 the easiest thing in the world to explain is the truth. That's why I like dealing with that. You feel me? Once you dealing with the truth, it's like this is easy. Easy picking. See, you probably thought I was gonna talk about you being a victim and all of that in a situation. Nah, nigga. Martial law that happened to you. It was sad. That's a sad story. But I am no longer sympathetic to you because as a grown man, you was up under that nigga more. Yeah. I draw the line there. All the little kids all these years, the, 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 the pre-
athletes did something to them in their hometown. They 30 miles away. They grew up to be big, strong men and all that. They saying they self I ever see this nigga somewhere. Running in his mouth, nigga. If I ever see this nigga somewhere, nigga. Kip, niggas working niggas. Nigga work every day. Nigga ain't thinking about doing nothing to nobody except for that nigga that touched him when he was a little boy. If I ever see this nigga from back home, I'm running in his mouth. I'm beating him up. Straight up. I'm beating him up. You? You came home from jail after mingling with the niggas all over New York City, all that the tough niggas, cut niggas, let you tell it, get busy running down on Pistol Pete, blah, 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 blah. After you did all that, wind up getting cool with Pistol Pete. After doing all of that with them Queens niggas and Brooklyn niggas and Harlem niggas and them Staten Island niggas and all that, you turned blood. You turned blood and went home and got cool again with the child molester. Hey, yo, y'all.
nigga, you pussy. Yeah, it's no other way to say that. You didn't do nothing to that nigga as a grunt. That's who I'm talking to. Whatever he did to you, like, you, like I said, when you was a little boy, it's sad, but I ain't sympathetic to that shit because you was with that nigga with a gun in your hand. You could have handled your business. You want the nigga to go to jail. You was a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, you want, the, you want the nigga to go to jail for what he did to you, but you was with the nigga when you had a gun and you ain't do nothing. You 